Where Elise receives the decoration for having saved someone from royalty and something horrible also happened, in other words. The Emperor had an attack and everything got complicated because they began to blame Prince Linden. Come on, everything is very complicated. The political consequences of all this are serious, and on the other hand, they are trying to assassinate our Elise. So we'll see what happens. What happened in this episode? Leave your like, your comments, and I will leave you with summary number 11 of this story. The big day arrived for Elisa where she was awarded the Order of the Imperial Rose. It was a quite beautiful ceremony where it was full of nobles and obviously the Emperor giving the Imperial Rose to Elise. And not only that, but they also gave her the rank of knighthood. So it's a pretty big distinction after that. We have a few nobles congratulating her because well everyone washes her and saying that she is very young and good that surely in the future she will be even wiser and will be a good queen or rather a good empress she is not so clear because in little head she wants to be a doctor and that is still her main objective. Although here I remember what the king told her, the emperor, that she should skip that topic of the bet they made and dedicate herself completely to being the empress, the future empress. Here she goes to talk to the Emperor where she notices that he is a little pale. So she starts asking him some typical questions that you would be asked in a medical checkup. But the Emperor himself tells her that she is not in a hospital that she should enjoy that day. Besides that, that day she is the protagonist. So don't ask him anything. And well, since the Emperor doesn't look so bad, Elis simply tells him that whatever happens to him, he should tell Aluin and from there he goes to talk to Julie who is waiting for her. So well, the Emperor keeps drinking. And just at that moment, he arrives. Linden with one more glass for his father. He receives it and takes it from a trip. Something that Lindy tells him that he shouldn't be see, that he should take it more calmly. Just at that moment, something happens to the Emperor. He suffers a supposed heart attack. He spits blood out of his mouth. Mouth and ends up falling. Obviously, everyone is scared. Especially Prince Linden. And there he also runs. He says to help him to see what had happened. She asks them to call Viscount Beenan, who is the royal doctor and well. They all come to see him. The people are very worried and well. Elisa tells all the medical apprentices what they should do and what they should monitor in the Emperor's state until he reaches the Imperial Cross Hospital. On the other hand, we realize that the comments obviously begin here. All the nobles are worried about the Emperor. But above all, they realize that the Emperor suddenly fell after Prince Linden had given him a glass of wine. Obviously, the first doubts that are going to arise are that possibly the prince had done it. Poisoned by this, the royal guard arrives and takes Prince Linden because, well, it's all a very suspicious moment. And they need to keep an eye on him when the emperor is already in the hospital. Obviously, everyone is taking care of them, especially Elis Key, who doesn't know very well because he had a heart attack so fast. So fleeting that, although he is sick, the disease he has, which is diabetes, should not cause something like that. In addition to the state of the emperor, he is still very sensitive. Obviously, after having gone through that, the two most important factions of the kingdom noble faction that supports Prince Mikhail, and the Korin's faction headed by Elsie's father and who support Prince Linden come into discussion. Because obviously the noble faction accuses Linden of having poisoned his father without evidence, obviously only with visual proof that the last thing the emperor drank was something that Prince Linden gave him. But evidently Elise's father says that this is not proof. In addition, Elise said after the tests that were done on the Emperor that it had been a heart attack, that there was no trace of poison, but of course Elise's word. No matter how good a doctor she is, or well that she is going to be a very good doctor, or that she is very brilliant, is not of much use since she is not objective. That is, she is the future fiancé of Linden, and she is the daughter of the clones so well her word for the noble faction is not worth much. Nor is it even objective, they begin to argue. But here it is Prince Mikhail who speaks, he says, as he asks Ellis's father directly who was in charge of the judicial power in that country. And obviously he is the emperor, but since the emperor is not there, the second in command would be Prince Linden. What is the problem? Prince Linden is also not available because he is under observation. That is, he is suspected of a crime like that, that technically all the power now falls on him over Michael. And he says that no verdicts can be given, yet you are welcome. There is not enough evidence and that the Emperor must continue to be examined now. If no other apparent problem is found due to such a rapid heart attack, well, you could say that you can blame Prince Linden for wanting to murder the king. They can't say much more, so they each go their own way, but part of the noble faction gets together and there they ask each other if any one of them made this whole plan and that they poisoned the Emperor, but it didn't happen although one of the nobles had thought about doing it because, well, they knew that the Emperor was sick and no one would notice anything else. In addition to the fact that their situation with the noble faction is complicated, 
because the favorite to be the next emperor is Linden. No, Michael, they are still going to take advantage of all this, and they have already bought one of the newspapers so that they can convince a hoax to plant the doubt whether the prince had tried to kill his father, so that so the gossip spreads in the people. That is, the commoners take their side, but clearly they were not going to stay with that alone. And on the other hand, the faction that is with the Emperor are worried because they know that Lyndon would never do anything to her father. And Ellis's father is worried because he knows that she is the one who will. The Emperor is now in her hands and it is up to her to investigate what happened. And so he tells the truth that he is taking his head in his hands. Because he does not know that he is not seen. He does not understand what could have caused the Emperor's heart attack. In addition, he knows that he did not see any signs of poison in the Emperor's body. In addition, he saw the face that Lyndon made when he fell. When she had the attack on her father, it's clearly not the face of someone who was planning all that or who was acting to avoid being discovered. Graham, who was there, tells her that he's never seen her in that way, that she always takes things seriously, things calmly and she tries to give a fairly accurate diagnosis calmly, but now she is not herself. It is the first time she has seen her like this, and obviously because the Emperor is someone very close, and she is very, very worried so well, Graham. He says that he should rest, eat something, because if he wants to give a good diagnosis, he needs to be well first. So he is going to be in charge of taking care of the Emperor. He says, pay attention to this. He goes out to get some air and well. He feels a little like he had, she had arrogance because she wanted to be a doctor at any cost but now she is not able to save the life of the person she cares about. There she begins to hear that they begin to distribute her newspaper, and obviously it is the newspaper with the news that Prince Linden is probably the one. Responsible for the murder or attempted murder of the Emperor and people obviously begin to comment. Knowing this, Elis heads to the House of the 100, which is where they kept her there a long time ago and is where they take the nobles or royalty who may have possibly been there, committed some crime. She meets Prince Linda in whom he is completely emaciated. She sits in front of him and Linden, seeing that she is very nervous, very anxious and sad. He tells him that she knows that they are doing everything they can to save the Emperor. And since she also sees him badly and feels that frustration of the Prince, who says that he can't do anything, he can't help his father like that time, when he couldn't do anything for his mother and of course Elizabeth, feeling sorry for this, approaches the Prince Linden, takes his hands, kneels in front of him and says that she is going to take care of the Emperor personally, that he will be fine, and of course this leaves Prince Linden a little calmer. She leaves during the night very worried about this because it must be that he doesn't. He is seeing something about this heart attack because there are few diseases that can cause it and diabetes is not one of those. Well, he was walking calmly when one of the guards approached to say that the emperor had gone into shock again. So he told them they were going to quickly prepare a carriage for her to get to the hospital. What's the problem? They leave her alone and here comes part of the noble faction who wants to kill Elise so that she doesn't get involved in their plans. Elise tries to escape, but she is being surrounded and she... She obviously tries to hide as best she can because she doesn't want to die again because otherwise returning to her life as Elise wouldn't make any sense and while she was thinking about what to do and worried that she wouldn't be discovered, she was just discovered and was about to be murdered. This is how episode number 11 of Geekai Elise ends. Obviously everything was left with the question of what is going to happen to Elise, whether they are going to save her or not, and we will see in the last that yes because there is only one episode left. Tell me what you expect from that last episode. How is everything going to end if it is going to be solved, if the Emperor is going to be saved and well leave me? Your comments, thank you very much for watching, and just see you in the next video, bye.